what is Huntress? We are a managed EDR solution. Um, we're a managed security stack offering a managed EDR solution. We also have a security awareness training and managed antivirus, but today I'm mostly going to be talking about our managed EDR. Okay. So how does all of that relate to how the Huntress EDR works? So we've got a lightweight agent that you can deploy really easily via group policy, via your RMM. Um, it's going to collect that information, so process execution data, uh, looking at what executed what, those parent-child processes, and then also looking at some of those uh, persistent footholds as well. Uh, and I'm going to talk about you know, the individual features on the next slide, but from there we've got the detection. So our custom tuned detection to capture that information and then make our team aware of any suspicious activity. Um, from there, the analyst will dig into things and investigate for you. Um, we've got that stream of data and then they'll be able to contextualize it and make that decision of, okay, is this malicious or is this not malicious? Um, greatly eliminating the false positive. We had a false positive rate last quarter of something like 0.7%. Wow, um, that's so great. It's incredibly important to us to you know, reduce that alert fatigue and, and not to you know, alert you to something that's, that's not critical. So you um, did say 0 0.7. So that's not even 1%. That's correct. Yes. That's, that's really good. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. And we also have a really highly rated support team. Um, so they're absolutely incredible. And in the event that there's something that you want additional information regarding need help, they're awesome as well and, and get really high marks across the board when it comes to um, customer service. So Excellent. I wanted to shout them out there as well. But from that investigation, we'll create an incident report, which is the deliverable to you um, that lets you know the findings and outlines the steps. And as I mentioned, can be delivered via email or ticketing system. Um, within that incident report, it's also going to give uh, remediation steps of exactly what um, needs to be done in order to kill that process, get rid of that foothold, um, and you can even auto remediate by tasking the agent to perform those steps for you and then perform a reboot. Um, from there, all of that info is getting fed back into our platform where our detection engineers continue to look for um, uh, new detectors that, so that we can more quickly and efficiently be able to um, investigate um, and become more effective. Yeah, I like I like that you end it there with basically saying that we feed that intel back into our platform. So absolutely, that's absolutely. excellent. Yeah, if if one of our analysts is performing an investigation and notices something suspicious that maybe happened a little bit earlier in the attack chain, True. so that next time we could be more efficient, that's something that we're going to continue to to look at and research. Excellent. So how do we do managed DDR? We've got that endpoint visibility, those process events. So what executed what, um, the, the actually uh, actual lineage uh, of those uh, events, those persistent footholds. So as I mentioned, those are once uh, an attacker gains access, they're gonna plant something so that they, if, if the user logs off, the computer gets restarted, they don't have to like refish someone to get access back into that into that host. Uh, so what they do oftentimes is put a foothold in something like a registry run key, so that upon startup uh, they're maintaining access. Um, so those are things that Huntress is looking at, and that was actually originally our bread and butter was just persistence because nobody else was looking at it, um, and we've expanded greatly from there, as I'm sure you can see, but sure. that was the, the kind of OG Huntress. Um, we've also got our external recon feature, which is a tie-in with Shodan, essentially using the um, external IP address that each agent is communicating to Huntress from. Um, 
shooting that into Shodan, which tells us any external ports open on that endpoint. Um, we also pull in as an additional stream of information events from your antivirus if you're using Microsoft Defender. So um, about 800,000 of the 2 million endpoints that, that we um, manage use Microsoft Defender. So we have plenty of partners and clients who use other AVs. What I typically say is use whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but using the built-in free version of Windows Defender is, number one, a great antivirus option that can save you some money. Um, and number two, that information and those detections are being then looked at by the Huntress team as an additional stream of information. And awesome. then we've got our canary monitoring. So canaries in the coal mine, they're ransomware canaries is what we call them. So they're files dropped on each host. Um, of, of different file types. And essentially, if there are any changes to that file, um, that, that creates a detector that our analysts would then look into um, to see if, if that was evidence of something like ransomware. So that's so the canary. A, yeah. the, the, the canary is really just a, just a file that the Huntress drops on yeah. to a host to monitor that file and see if there's any changes, something like ransomware would come in and encrypt that file. Huntress would exactly. know because the file would be, would be at that point updated and changed. Exactly. And okay. so that's, that's kind of that last line of, of defense. So um, typically by that point, we'd have seen some process execution information that was suspicious, a foothold, um, but those canaries, they can allow for um, earlier detection of ransomware events um, in order to give the, the best chance of response. Okay. Awesome. And then on the detection side, I've been talking a lot about our detectors and our detection engine um, that's constantly being updated by our detection engineers and our research and development team. And then our 24-7 threat ops analysts who are actual humans performing that analysis and those investigations. And from there, you have your response. So those incident reports, the deliverable to you by our threat ops team. Within those, you've got those remediation suggestions and our assisted remediation, the easy button that you can hit to tell the agent to do those remediations. Okay. And then in a situation where you know, maybe uh, um, malware has the ability to propagate through your network um, or uh, we see a, a high fidelity alert. We actually have the ability to isolate the host or multiple hosts um, so that it can only communicate with the Huntress portal. Um, okay. So that host isolation is not automated. It means that one of our team members, our analyst, has looked at it, understood that that can uh, cause an interruption to day-to-day -day business activities and has determined that that's the best course of action in order to protect you and your environment. So we have that ability as well. And then we love to, to educate through you know, webinars like today, our blog, um, we're on uh, Reddit, um, oftentimes you can find us you know, uh, talking with the community. We do our Tradecraft Tuesdays once a month where, you know, it's not about Huntress, uh, the product. It's just about things that we've kind of seen out in the wild. Um, so so we, we like to kind of get back to the community in those ways as well. What exactly does it mean to be managed? It means that our threat ops team is monitoring changes to the individual hosts and to the environment as a whole. Uh, reviewing those and investigating those outliers, and then investigating, you know, when when something has been deemed to be suspicious, and then from there creating an incident report if it's deemed to be malicious. So, for example, on the right hand side, we see a user run key. Um, one of our analysts started an investigation because of the suspicious auto run. So it was an unclassified per persistence mechanism, an unclassified binary essentially meaning we hadn't seen it before. Um, so from there, uh, um, Cheryl, this particular analyst, uh, looked at that registry key. It's got a script to 
to extract two DLL files and then execute them both. Both of the files are malicious. Um, those files aren't currently present, but they're still malicious and should be removed. So that's kind of the, the investigation process that one of our analysts takes. And from here, uh, an incident report would be created and, and sent out um, via email or ticketing system. Uh, and it would contain the remediation steps of removing that registry key, maybe removing a couple more things, and then to reboot the host as well. Well, I would assume, Ella, if you guys mm -hmm. are, are are managing and maintaining two thousand, well, the security for two thousand uh, endpoints, there's something always y'all are always finding something all the Absolutely. time on these computers, aren't you? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Never it's, a dull moment. Exactly, and with two million endpoints, it's more important than ever that our process is swift, efficient. Um, while still giving each and every investigation the time that it deserves. There you go. So a little bit more about our threat ops team. I really like to highlight them because having strong, capable engineers, um, we have a really big data set to operate off of. So we can test with real world data to get a higher fidelity of detection, which translates to better detection across all of our partners and clients versus you know, visibility into a single account or organization's data set. So we always recommend tapping into the talent that Huntress has. So we've gathered the best minds in the cybersecurity industry, people who literally wrote the book on malware analysis, um, and, and our clients and partners can access our team of experts who give all of that impressive knowledge from the private sector and the government so our founders are ex-NSA. Um, and then we've got people from Cisco, VMware, the DOD, um, the US Coast Guard, Air National Guard. Um, so really diverse minds that help us do what we do best, which is to hunt those hackers down. Um, so hunt those hackers on, down. Yeah, we focus on the security so that our partners and clients can focus on their businesses. Um, and we can isolate machines when necessary. So as I mentioned, the situation where something happens at 3 a.m., you don't have to jump out of bed and be like, oh, crap, I've got to deal with this right now. Um, you know, if it, if it we're if all it, imagining that, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if it's necessary, we'll isolate it for you. So even if it happens Friday at 9 p.m., it can wait until Monday at 3 a.m. if need be. Or not 3 a.m., 9 a.m. Yeah. Awesome. Because you got and your team has already isolated it, isolated exactly. the host. Okay. Exactly. 